Welcome to Top Tips for Coaching the Tackle. Today we're going to look at a few top tips for coaches in clubs and schools to develop their players' skill level within the tackle and to develop a tackle culture within their programs. Firstly, we're going to look at quality over quantity. Key thing is to keep tackling sessions fun, short and sharp, but high quality. Co uh, coaching the tackle um, should be fun and engaging. Uh, players of all abilities should be engaged in the tackle is obviously a key area of the game. Focus giving players feedback on key points, the pre-tackle, during tackle, post-tackle, um, and some of the, the obviously key points are in the image to, to the left-hand side. We're looking for sessions, maybe five to ten minutes. They can be low intensity, don't need to be at full match pace. Working on even just walking through on the knees, developing confidence in the tackle is going to be really key for all players of all abilities. Working in pairs and small groups is a, is a great tip. Lots of activities, and I'm going to show a few on the screen at the moment, that can be used to develop players' confidence um, either pre-tackle, during or post-tackle. Um, this gives opportunities for, for players to give peer-to-peer -peer feedback, so the player at the bag at the moment can give feedback on the tackler and vice versa, and this builds up a really good co uh, culture of, of coaching and peer-to-peer -peer feedback. Coaches can use the step process, so adjusting the space, the task, the equipment and the people to evolve the activity to make it harder or easier for, for players of all different abilities. In touch games that we play a lot in our in our sessions, um, they can often uh, lead to high touches up on the shoulder level. So we're obviously wanting to keep our um, positioning below sternum. So looking at creating good tackle habits in touch games, that can be done through um, two-handed touch below the sternum uh, only. So any touches above the base of the sternum have some sort of consequence and that will help breed um, a transition uh, into your full contact games and will make sure that people don't get into bad habits during those touch activities. Don't be afraid to play on um, touch games if, if it's just a one-handed touch as in a game of rugby. Obviously if you're only able to make one hand, one handed touch the likelihood is you're not going to complete a full effective tackle. Key tip around player development is to introduce rewards for tackle behaviours that you want to see. So can you have a, a, a an award every game that uh, gives a reward for a player who makes the most number of low tackles that leads to a turnover, for example? Could you introduce a, a tackle clinic at your club or school uh, for those who want to develop their game? This can just be 15 minutes before the main session starts. Um, it could be led by a senior player who wants to develop into coaching. And um, we've we've know we know a lot of clubs who use this model, um, and it's really helping again develop that tackle culture, and helping people reduce their tackle height uh, this season. So thanks very much for some uh, listening to some top tips uh, on the screen at the moment. Just some QR codes that will take you through to some World Rugby resources. We've got the World Rugby Tackle Ready program and Contact Confident program, and we also have our tackle activities uh, playlist on YouTube, which features a number of the activities I showed in one of the earlier slides. Thanks very much. Good luck with your coaching. Please send in your top tips. We uh, would love to see some activities that you'd like to share, and we'll share them on social media as well. Thanks very much.